For years, it's been considered one of the most crime-ridden areas of Sacramento County. Uh, a lot of drugs in this area, a lot of homeless. And a lot of gangs, keeping law enforcement on edge. It's a stretch known as the Avenues, from 47th Avenue to Highway 99 and Franklin Boulevard to the 600 block of MLK. This area has been a, a challenge for quite some time. A challenge that erupted in December of 2007, six days before Christmas. This South Sacramento neighborhood is on lockdown as they search for a cop killer. Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Vu Nguyen was gunned down while chasing a suspect running from a known gang house. Many vowed to honor his memory by making drastic changes to these same streets where he took his last breath. For years after his murder, that effort failed. Until now. <laughs> it's good, good seeing you, buddy. See you. Okay. Good seeing you. I'll see you all later right. on, all right? Okay. Officer Trent Freitas is leading the way. Okay. Well, you know, I'm out here every day to try to help. But as he patrols and mingles with those who call the avenues home, you won't find him in a sheriff's patrol car. And you won't find something else. You have both your vest on. I do. But you're unarmed. I'm unarmed. I have pepper spray and that's it. He's armed with only good intentions for good reason. Trent Freitas is not a sheriff's deputy but a Sacramento County code enforcement officer. Carl Simpson is his boss. I think that we complement the police department and the police law enforcement efforts. Simpson helped come up with a plan to take back this neighborhood using Officer Freitas and his 15 year background in law enforcement and others and surrounding them with a team. The task force is comprised of about five to maybe eight pop deputies, uh, two probation officers, and a number of code enforcement officers who proactively go through this neighborhood and hit what we've entitled the problem properties in the neighborhood. Properties like this apartment complex that had been taken over by gang members. Gang bangers around here? How, what's there their were. What's their attitude toward you now? Or? They've since moved on. Those who call this complex home today consider it a nice place to live. It's one of Trent Freitas' daily stops. How you doing, bud? Pretty good. You know, how you doing? Well, that's good. Excellent. From the point where you started this, which was how long ago? About a year ago. To the point where we're at right now standing? Yes. Night and day difference? Night and day difference from what it is. And I, we can now even ask a lot of the residents out here, and they'd probably tell you that. We did just that. But what changes have you, have you noticed since uh, you've had people like Trent out here? Well, there's less trouble. Um, it's getting cleaner by, uh, by the week. Now we have children um, who's, play, uh, who's actually playing out here. You know, he's out here every day and, and, and as long as he, he shows his face out here, you know, he gets that respect. A, a lot has changed. It's not, I mean, it's still got some trouble going on, but it's not like it was when we first moved in here over a year ago. You feel a lot safer now than you did a year ago? Yes. The relief in her answer is as loud as the pride in Officer Freitas' voice when he talks about the job he calls the most rewarding he's ever had. This is what I do, and I, I do get out of my car, I drive around, I talk to people, I go into their units, I check and make sure, because I get text messages, they have cockroaches, they have a water leak, um, their electricity is not working. They you know. text you directly? Or they call me directly while I'm at work or at home. Just yeah. let me know if you need anything. I'm not out here to arrest people. I'm not out here to do anything but make it a better living place for the people out here. That's all I'm out here to do. You know the phrase, the proof is in the pudding. And yes, we checked. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department tells us crime in the area known as the Avenues has gone down. But the calls for service, they're up. And that's a good thing. People who live there are no longer afraid to blow the whistle on anyone who might have bad intentions. And it's not just violent crime that's down. Illegal dumping like this is happening less often as well. Whether it's on someone's property, here's a before and after view of one housing unit, or whether it's trash on the streets, many are making a clean sweep. Why is that so important? We believe that when people drive through neighborhoods and they look dilapidated, there's junk cars, there's debris, that that is kind of a, a hidden message that it's okay to come and do crime here. And that perhaps is the message delivered by this groundbreaking program. It's not okay. It's not okay to not care about where you live. It's not okay to go back to how things used to be when how things used to be were dangerous and deadly. From one officer's death, new life has finally been pumped into a section of Sacramento County, bursting not with gunfire, but with pride. How are you? Hi, what you doing? How are you? How are you? What's up, bud? 
The reason why I do this is for them, for, for the children out here, for the kids, for the families, for the moms. They, it's nothing can compare or show the impact of what we've done out here, except for bringing families back out here and having kids come out here and play and, and families feeling safe to walk down the street and take their kids to school. There's nothing that brings you more joy than obviously trying to help out in that situation and bring that back to this community. It seems like it hasn't been here for quite a while, but it seems like it's starting to come back now.